Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day making some really good trades and yup, let's just get into it and I just got home after a long long day today, had a very nice day. Uh, unfortunately my car ran out of gas so that's probably why I'm making this video a little bit late today but yeah, overall let's keep going, let's not mind that. And yeah, Bitcoin closing another weekly candle once again and beautiful looking quite bullish right now on the DBSI with an 18 and a minus four on Bitcoin. Let's take a look at the Bitstamp chart, see if we're getting some similar numbers. And yes, we are. So overall looking still bullish in my opinion. Again, when these numbers right here are 18 and you have the smaller numbers which are negative, the price is going to move in that direction the direction of the smaller numbers obviously getting negative numbers is very small right you are negative numbers so let's say let's take for example right here uh, one and a 16 so that would be bullish right you, you the price is most likely going to move in the direction of the smaller numbers and you can see overall on the weekly time frame the trend has been starting to move towards the upside just a little bit of a quick tutorial right there for you guys who don't know what market cipher does and right now on the daily time frame we have a do we do have a red dot right and we have a red dot on market cipher a and market cipher b momentum waves cutting in right here and the view up is at the zero line so we could be getting ready for a small pullback but again in my opinion this could be the beginning of a potential bull flag formation you know bull flag consolidation Again, it's very immature right now. Nothing too clear yet. We're just gonna have to see how this one plays out. Uh, if we do keep going towards the downside, we do have some vector candles to be recovered on the eight hour and on the 12 hour right here, as you can see. Does this mean that we are going to go all the way down right now to 21,184 to recover this green vector candle? Not necessarily. These vectors could be recovered in the coming days or the coming weeks, and obviously, when you recover them sooner, they're, they're, you know, it's always better. But you can see on the daily time frame, we still have yet to recover this red vector candle right here at 26,500. Now, a lot of people are starting to uh, predict the top for Bitcoin. Is it going to be 26,000? Is it going to be 28,000? Is it going to be 30,000, 40,000? Uh, well, right now we can take a look at some key levels like we see right here, which is around 26,000, which was the previous low right here from this week, I, and which is actually the top of this red vector candle around that area, 26,600. And you can see right here, 26,600. So it's most likely going to see some major resistance around 26,600. But if the traditional markets have enough strength to keep pushing up, as you can see, the SPY and the NASDAQ have been having some amazing days already. Uh, NASDAQ is at resistance right now, in my opinion. So right now we have been getting some very nice green days on the SPY and the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones. And we're actually breaking above some, some short-term resistance right now. But overall, things are looking quite good. Could we top out at any moment? Absolutely. We are in a bear market and we are still... In my opinion mostly going to go down back to the 2020 highs before we get any major major bear mar bear market rally but who knows this could be our bear market rally you know we were just announced into a recession things were looking really good <laughs> i know being announced into a recession is really bullish news because it means uh, potential rate cuts coming in the next at the next meeting or at least a reduction in the rate cut so if unemployment numbers start to spike uh, definitely those rate cuts will be coming but again none of this is financial advice do your research and yeah let's just keep going let's do a little bit more analysis on on bitcoin uh, where we could be going and again we have this major trend line right here that i want to show you guys so please take this into account when you're when we're going to be rallying this trend line is going to be proving to be massive resistance it's going to be around 28,000 to 20 you know 7,000 depending on where we make contact with it but overall that will be our major resistance and you know we still have to get past 26,000 first so if we can get past 26,000 then you probably really don't really need to look at this trend line but overall if the markets keep pushing up Bitcoin is going to keep pushing up and then we're going to run into some major resistance and then we're going to place an amazing short and congratulations to the gold members again today closing another winning trade again not the biggest ones but nevertheless a very good win five percent on our dot trade and obviously not the craziest one i think we closed a pancake swap uh, trade the other day as well bang bagging over 21 percent so congrats to you guys who are following the spot trades you guys are making great great returns right now and especially stress-free because there's no leverage 
Uh, let's keep going. Let's take a look at natural gas. Again, natural gas taking another hit today, opening 4.5% lower. So that's going to be very, very good for our short position. Again, we should be up over 22% now as we do a short, as we shorted natural gas using KOLD, which is a times two leverage ETF. So congrats to you guys in the Discord who are following the stock trades. Now, again, is Bitcoin going to be going to new all time highs? In my opinion, absolutely not. Not in this current environment. You know, we have really, really high inflation right now. And on top of that, we have the Fed raising the rates bit by bit, which is already crashing the market. So you can imagine if they're actually rate, if they were really fighting inflation, the markets would be absolutely tanking, but they are, they aren't really fighting inflation. They're just raising their rates to make everyone believe they are fighting inflation. But yeah, overall, things are not looking the greatest right now. And we're going to have to see how Bitcoin performs in a recession. But yeah, overall, markets are going to be open tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a Canadian holiday. So, you know, to all my uh, fellow Canadian viewers, enjoy your holiday, relax, kick back, get off the charts for a little bit. Unless you want to be on the charts, then you can do whatever you want. But yeah, love you guys. Thank you so much for your support and peace.